this video will be on my bulletproof coffee that i drink hot and iced now you can add or subtract any of the ingredients i'm doing here it's your choice whatever fits your macros so the first thing is you just need two glasses or mugs whatever you choose and i'm just putting hot boiling water in my mason jar and like i said all this is up to you how much or how little you want to put but i do about a little bit more than half of the cup and then I go in with instant coffee. And the one I use is Folgers. It's the classic roast. But it is the one that's like crystallized. That's the one I like. The flavor is really good. It's not harsh. It's very smooth and it tastes great. Now I use a decaf when I crave coffee at nighttime so that I don't stay up all night. And it's a little bit stronger tasting. So I use a little bit less. And you can always add more milk or heavy cream or sweetener as well. So... I go in usually with two tablespoons or so of coffee. It depends how strong I want it for that day. Sometimes I add a little bit extra or have a tablespoon more. It all really depends on what I'm feeling that day, but it's about two tablespoons. I feel like it's strong enough for me to taste the coffee, but not too harsh. Uh, then I go in with my sweetener and I use stevia. Um, I really buy the one that's on sale as long as it's stevia. And I put one pack it on my hot coffee um, you can add more if you like or less then i go in with my butter i use Kerrygold butter and this butter is so delicious i know it sounds gross or weird for you to put butter in your coffee but let me tell you it gives it such a beautiful nutty creamy taste and this is a great way for you to get your fats in first thing in the morning even though I drink this at noon. I start off drinking this coffee at noon because I do fast as well. So I eat from 12 to 6 and then I fast the rest of the time. So it's really up to you what you want to do. But I do one tablespoon of this. I wouldn't recommend doing more because it probably won't taste that good. It'll be too much. Then I go in with vanilla extract and I just... I measure it however i think just a little splash if i put too much i feel like it overpowers the coffee as well but it gives it a really nice caramel macchiato taste putting some of it and i use this little mixer and i got this from amazon no you know what i got the first one i owned from amazon and it broke right away so then this one was gifted to me by my brother and sister-in-law and they got it from target and I love doing this. So I do this when I put in the butter and then I sometimes always do it after the heavy creamer. But I like it because I want to dissolve the butter. I want the butter to melt completely. Plus it gets the coffee a lot thicker and creamier. And that's something I really, really do enjoy. The next thing I'm going to be doing after doing that is adding my heavy whipping cream. And this is also your choice how much or how little you want to put. I normally just measure it it's about three tablespoons is what i use no more than that and it is more than enough and it tastes amazing you can do two if you really want to limit yourself or it doesn't fit in your macros um sometimes i feel like adding almond milk and i'll add a splash of that because it adds such a great flavor enhancement to it like i said every single day is different it's whatever i'm feeling so if you do add that you can add just a splash and um i do tend to like my coffees a little bit more on the sweeter side then on the stronger side so it's really your choice how much or how little you want to put and then i go back in there with it and i just have fun with this <laughs> i like it very like i said very creamy very frothy it's really really good and then after this is when i normally put my whipped cream this is the only whipped cream they had so this one is not sugar free i do recommend the sugar free especially so it can fit in your macros now i'm going to do the iced and this is the iced coffee i use it's medium roast it's unsweetened and it's starbucks brand i get this from target but they do have it at walmart as well and this says that it is four servings pork per container and let me tell you i can get six to eight servings out of this i don't understand how you can drink that much coffee i guess at once to be four servings so i add just that much and then once i add the ice and the cream and all that it tends to become more so this is the oil i use i use mct oil i threw away the jug because it was a huge jug and it didn't fit in my refrigerator so i put it in this container i will show you guys a picture of the one i use and i use one tablespoon this is how i get my fats into my coffee and i use just one tablespoon throw it in there like i said it does sound weird and gross because it is oil this is the mct oil i use i buy this from the vitamin store it is 20 dollars, but this huge 32 florons will last you a long time i would use it my mother-in-law and my husband 
and I only use half a stevia packet because this iced coffee itself has its own flavor. It's like such a nutty, creamy flavor that you do not need to add too much sugar to it. And then I just use my little mixer and then I go in with my heavy creamer and I usually put two to three tablespoons like I said. It really depends of what I'm feeling, if I need something stronger or not. And then after that is done, I go in and I mix it again. I do it twice. You don't have to. You can put all your ingredients in there and then mix it. But I just enjoy doing that because I feel like it comes out even more creamy for some reason. After that is done, I taste it to see if it's to my liking. And if it is, I go on with a whole bunch of ice because I need this to be cold. And I don't know. I just really like my, my coffee. It's really, really cold. Um, usually I finish it and the ice are still full because I drink so much coffee. But now I would go in with my whipped cream. And like I said, you can choose a sugar-free whipped cream, which I highly recommend. But this is what they had. And this is my hot and iced coffees. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video and that this helped you to kickstart your keto diet. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you on my next video.